All okay. right, Carrie, you've been you've got pent up something going on, so please release yes. it. Well, I promised the knitters we would touch on this. I'm sorry. We should really do a standalone video on it. We're just both a little burnt out today. But um, so I'm going to just cover it here. Ravelry, the knitters know about what's been happening to them. If you don't know and you're new to the channel, I suggest you go back and watch a video we did called uh, the SJW Knitting Circle of Hell. That was the first time we talked about the SJW Knitting Wars. Um, and then we did an interview with Maria Tuscan. We've done an interview with Marie Buskey. We've covered it a couple of other times. Um, but essentially, Ravelry was a huge knitting site where they allowed people, knitters, to interact and, and sell designs and promote their own businesses and interact with one another. And they were cheered and celebrated in the mainstream media a couple years ago for banning all Trump supporters from their platform. They were celebrated on... I think it was Stephen Colbert show. Like people were like, yay, when he talked about it. They said that all Trump supporters were white supremacists and that any support of Trump is white, it's white supremacy. And they kicked all the Trump people off. And, um, and so now a couple years later, they are embroiled in, in the middle of what I call, it's kind of like SJW cannibalism. See, here's what happens is they do a round of purging and they purge the most obvious wrong thinkers. This always happens in every community. This happened in the feminist SJW circles I was in like 10 years ago in the feminist blogging world. They push out the obvious wrong thinkers and they push out the on the fence wrong thinkers. And, and they, the idea of what's pure keeps getting smaller and smaller. That's why they call it a purity spiral. And then there's like no one left for them to direct their hate towards and they just start directing it at each other and they start eating each other. So they're currently eating each other because they came out with a new um, platform design and I sent you a link, a bunch of the knitters um, who claimed, now remember in their SJW worldview, you have, the, they say the best way of looking at the world is as a competition for power between identity groups. It's like Marxism, but based around identity and power. And so there's an ever growing number of these identity groups because it benefits you to be in the, one of the marginalized classes, right? So there's everyone, every one of these groups is divided into marginalized and privileged or oppressed and oppressor. So one of these categories now is people are disabled. If you're disabled, you're marginalized and oppressed, woohoo, you get to have a voice. You get to be put on a pedestal in the ideology, right? So all these knitters are now saying the new design caused them to have seizures, <laughs> like eight, eight seizures, and that Ravelry didn't respond fast enough and they don't care about the disabled community on Ravelry. If, any, if I'm getting any of the broad strokes wrong, knitters in the chat, let me know. But now there, now there's just complete infighting, and people are big knitters, SJW knitters are now leaving Ravelry, and I predict what's going to happen is it's going to go under eventually. I mean, because when you put ideology above your original purpose, your original purpose was about yarn and knitting and sharing the joy of knitting, and now what's it about? Social justice ideology. Social justice ideology is a toxic ideology, and I think eventually you'll see that it causes the organization it consumes to go down the toilet. All these churches that are being inf infected with social justice ideology, ideology, people are going to quit going because it's going to go down the toilet. I'm not going back to my church that I was going to in Austin. That's not why I was going. I left that cult for a reason. I'm not going to church to be indoctrinated into social justice cult. You know, um, I can get that in. I can get that from the world at large. Now's actually a great time to start uh, competing businesses and organizations if you just see something that's being, I mean, just like, just like Gab targeted Twitter, I think they were too early and they've obviously uh, had some roadblocks, but it's a great time to start a church that's not going to be woke or start a platform that's going to compete against some of these other platforms. Yeah. Um, because like you said, People I mean, this is, hungry. you know, this is what uh, Vox Day coined the term uh, convergence. This is what convergence is. Uh, convergence is uh, when social justice warriors take over an organization. Um, and they usurp it for its primary purpose. Um, they usurp its primary purpose. Um, yeah, I didn't know that about. I didn't know that about Ravelry. It makes sense, so, right? It's the same thing that Yuri would talk about when when Yuri Besmanov was talking about how, like the 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 agitators that are driving the Marxist revolution will be shot, <laughs> right? And like, yeah. because they're because they're agitators, and when the Marxists take over, they don't like agitators, and so you'll get shot. It's 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 a it's kind of a similar they always 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 
eat their own. Yeah. Because they they're got always got to be eating somebody, and if they run everybody else out, it's like then they just easily turn on each other. Somebody says this. You, she's describing what happened to Gamergate. Yeah, it's it's happened over and over in any community, organization, company, church, any place that gets infected by and converged upon with this belief system. It the original purpose of the group or community or church or or organization goes second becomes secondary to the become secondary to this belief system and then this belief system is so toxic because like it becomes well, a about, firing squad you know we, we've talked about this right the belief system ultimately is not about building anything in particular it's about mm -hmm. tearing down that's that it's a nihilistic kind of there's a nihilistic uh streak in this belief system so mm -hmm. it's not about they're not all arguing like you don't see them marching for like this is the specific new government system that we want or the specific thing they're not even saying these are the kinds of new police that we want they're like tear it down tear it down tear it down they're not saying these are the statues they're not saying this is the government this is not saying they're saying we need to tear it down and the belief system is is the only thing that unites you know if you're confused about the belief system the only thing that unites it is tearing down Western culture. That's the uni unifying yeah. belief. And so, um, so of course, if they you've got an organization populated down. by only those people and, and their skill set and their drive is to tear down uh, when they run out of fodder, they turn to each other, right? It's like zombies just start trying to eat each other. Um, there's no, said, no humans left. They've said chess is racist now. Like yeah, nobody I saw gets that. Isn't that enjoy great? anything. You can't enjoy anything. It's all ist, 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 ist. It's all some kind of ist. There's miserable, miserable people at heart, and they want to try and remake the world to be as miserable as the inside of their hearts are. Like they want th what this dirty darkness in here to be reflected out in the world. They hate joy. Oh my gosh, people want to talk about like how to push back it, in, in these times, which can be very discouraging times and very frustrating times, seeing this belief system everywhere. Take delight in something, take joy in something, go enjoy yourself. If you're, if you're a person who posts on social media, don't make it all about like, don't, don't let this consume everything you think about and everything you do during the day. Like, you know, give people windows of joy, but they hate that. They hate that more than when you criticize social justice. It's like, you're out enjoying yourself? How dare you? <laughs> well, look at a lot of the posts that they've criticized, right? This whole knitting thing, not to go back yeah. to knitting, but it started with someone expressing joy about visiting India, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that's what it started with. Hey, I'm very excited. Like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah. white, girls, white girls happy. Uh, <laughs> Red alert. Can't be excited. <laughs> yeah. 